Odysseus, what news do you bring? Someone left this for us! A present. Nice. It looks just like our horse. Should I bring it inside? It'd be rude not to. Go! <laughs> I did not see that coming! Greetings, men of Athens, Sparta, and Thebes. Peabody here. Kill him! Ah! No, no! He's... my dad. It's an adoptive relationship. <gasps> oh. Okay, I want to be Mrs. Peabody for life. Sorry to my husband, Alex, and thank you, the director extraordinaire, Rob Minkoff. Welcome, you brilliant man, you. Thank you. I have been gushing. I literally laughed out loud at least 20 times, and it was three minutes into the movie, and that did not stop. What a this is my favorite new animation, bar none, period, full stop. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I, pre I appreciate that. Talk to us about what goes behind, first of all, directing a movie like this and it being 3D. You've lived with this for a long time. Absolutely. Well, you know, I, I first started uh, talking about this movie 12 years ago, so it's been it's been really an epic journey for me, but we've been making it for three years, and it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big project. How do you go about casting the voices. Oh, did a wow. perfect job. Well, you know, uh, at first, you know, come up with a list of people who, who might be right for the role, and then we hit on the idea of Ty Burrell, who is uh, Modern Phil, Family. Modern Family, exactly. Phil Dunphy. Uh, now, Phil Dunphy and Mr. Peabody are about as far apart on the spectrum as you can imagine, because, you know, Mr. Peabody's a genius. Uh, Phil Dunphy, maybe not so much. Not so much. But it's, it's the writing, the puns. I mean, you don't understand. I love me a good pun, and it was... <laughs> Hit after hit after hit. Really, it's, I feel like this one really is catered to adults as much as, if not more so, than the kids. Yeah, well, it's important when you make an animated movie that it appeals to kind of a wide range of audience. You know, it's important not just to entertain the kids, but you got to entertain their parents and everybody else, too. It's so hard to do. I mean, Lion King, you were brilliant with that. You see that that's lasted years and years. Kids are still watching it like it's fresh eyes the first time, and parents, too. You take us on that ride, and this has so many themes. Aside from the comedy, I mean, it's very touching. It touches on adoption, um, you know, being outcast in school, uh, history lessons, fun ones at that. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's actually a big part of the original. If you remember, Mr. Peabody and Sherman was on Rocky and Bullwinkle, and uh, and then that's what they did. They took the Wayback Machine to all these great historical periods and met incredible characters, and that's what we've done uh, in this movie. And you have a lot of fun as a director on this. We don't want to give too much away, but there's like Matrix slow mo type action scenes. They're very well choreographed, like a ballet. <laughs> Are you like a kid in a candy store to this day when you're doing this? You know, it's a lot of fun to make animated movies. You know, it's, uh, it's, it was a dream come true for me because I grew up loving animation and loving movies. And so, you know, it was so great that I got to actually do it. So watching it back now, what do you hope people get out of it? Is it a good laugh? Is it a coming together? Is it talking point? Uh, well, I think it's, 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 it's a number of things. Uh, first of all, you know, it, it has to be uh, heartwarming. It, it has to be funny. You know, it has to be an adventure. And it has to be uh, uh, something, you know, that they can take home with them. And I think the idea of a dog being a father uh, of this boy is just such a great idea. And, and it's, it's, you know, it As makes it say, special. It's the adoptive parent. I mean, it just... I can't even tell you how much I enjoyed this thrill ride. Will there be a sequel? Uh, you know what? It all depends on if the audience comes and loves the movie. On March 7th, we open, and, uh, you know, uh, absolutely, if, uh, if people want one. Very good segue. And what are you working on next? Well, uh, maybe the sequel. Yes. <laughs> We're going to work on the sequel, everybody. Check it out, Mr. Peabody and Sherman.com uh, on the web. As you said, it opens March 7th in theaters. I don't care if you're living by yourself and in college, if you have a family, I mean, you're gonna, if it's a date, you will love this movie. I can't remember the last time I laughed out loud this many times, and I thank you for that. That's so awesome, thank you. Brilliant job. Where do we follow you on Twitter? At Rob Minkoff. At Rob Minkoff. And you actually tweet back, I appreciate I that. I will do it. I wanna keep these, thanks Mark. By the way, there's no prescription lenses in Mark's classes. <laughs>